video time today we're going to talk about a battery we've had for a while but i don't think i've ever made a video about it. all right so here's the battery this is a 2.2 kilowatt hour alfa romeo battery module it comes from a car called tonali which is a plug-in hybrid and because it's a plug-in hybrid it's got a small battery on board and so as a result of that this battery can push quite a bit of power because usually small batteries push a lot of power to be able to push a car uh you know to to be able to create enough power to push a car right but the energy density is pretty high because look at the size of it it's very very small and compact to be 2.2 kilowatt hours so i according to my estimations on the car's power and stuff it should be able to deliver about 400 amps this module right or seven or eight of these modules that are Compose the, the, the battery pack. Now, these new modules are usually Samsung cells. This is how they are built. This is how we see them. But of course, they could be some other brand of cells. Uh, we don't get the spec sheets. And this is a low volume uh, vehicle. So there's not a lot ton of info on these. These are like low production vehicles, right? And so these new breed of uh, electric vehicle modules are very, very, very high quality. I really, really like them. They uh, package really well for like DIY conversions, for other projects, whatever other DIY projects that you can second life these into, right? Uh, so this is a typical uh, 12S module. This is very common in these new modules, right? So 12 cells, this one. Sometimes the cells are exposed on the bottom here. On this one in particular, they are covered with some kind of fabric in here or some kind of protection shielded thing or isolator or whatever which is really good i like that then this the sides are really really clean and they have this right here right so I, this finish right here is a um ground finish which is like very very high quality stuff and so that means that these uh will nest very easily or very neatly and tightly together if you're gonna put a bunch of these together right okay another one of these things is they usually have these extruded aluminum sides here that are very light because they have these extrusions right here these holes uh and so they are welded right the sides are welded to this so they are gonna be pretty tough for the most part and they're not gonna rattle or fall apart or do all kinds of things that you want so these are very very high quality uh i think they have this is right here is an m5 terminals and they have these little covers here that would allow you to have a really neat thing all right with the cover off here we go we get to see the top and this is pretty cool and not so cool at the same time so what's cool about it is that these are all welded together and they have a pretty straight board in here right this is cool because uh you can put you can get rid of this uh, board and then add your own in here so if you so that you can use it for whatever thing now the bad thing is that well it's got a proprietary bms now this is not all bad these for someone that uh, knew how to code and you know know your way around computers and stuff this probably wouldn't be too hard to to decode the can messages that go in here and by the way in order to do that we will uh be including the cable the connector right here so that you could connect to this circuitry in here right but of course you it does require you to have some skill decoding you know electronic components like this and you know like doing some reverse engineering stuff um sometimes it doesn't make sense on like products like this that are not widely uh um distributed out there right so like i said this is a, a low production vehicle i don't even think i've ever seen one of these out on the road one of these alpha romeos right so as a result of that, there's not that many. And this is the the reason why we haven't done a video on this battery module before, even though we've had them for a long time, is because we've always had like 10 of them, you know, at a time. And it's not until now that we have, oh, we have like a pallet now. And so it's like, okay, let me make a video just to show you what it is. It's very, very attractive. I feel like throwing it in one of my DIY projects in here because it's so compact and it's so powerful right and it nests so easily now uh if i wanted to do that yeah i would probably rip this out and then put my own board and then make my own connections put my own connector in here i don't know this connector has enough cables no it doesn't it doesn't have enough cables because you need uh 12 cells you need at least 13 right but then you want to also maybe put some thermistors in here so you'd have to go to uh, uh 15 16 pins or something like that 
So anyways, so another one of these uses that these uh, could be made to is as a DIY power wall, right? This is 12S, which is nominal 44 volts, uh, which is just shy, four volts shy of the 48 volt standard. And that could be a challenge, right? But the way you get around that is by using a Victron energy uh, inverter. And, they, and, you know, Victron has a whole line of inverters that have a wide range of voltage input and that fit well within the limits of this 44 volt battery pack so basically any of the 12s modules the ev modules could be used as a diy powerwall by using a victron system right by victron system like uh, inverters and like uh, solar charge controls all the stuff so that's the way you get it. and the thing about this is that this is one little power wall you add a second one you just connect it in parallel and now you just double your capacity right and so these would be really really easy to throw up in the wall uh connect all these do some bus bars to go from one in the other one and then at the end you end up with 44 volts that you can connect now to your victron system and now you charge those three victims so yeah and then you know the bms is the same thing as any other battery you just connect in there you could use uh you know a jk bms or any other bms's that are out there that will handle 44 12 cells right and for 44 volts and stuff so these are gonna be in our website and right now we have them for $199, which is sub $100 per kilowatt hour. But I think we're gonna put an, uh, an extra special in there so that you can save a bit more. I will put a code that I have figured out what it's gonna be. Maybe I'll put an Alpha Romeo 10 and we'll give you 10% when you go to the website and buy them there, right? Okay, so this is just a quick video to show you guys these very, very nice Alpha Romeo modules. Oh my God. the. What I would have given to have these like 10 years ago. It's a good time to be living right now that we have uh, sources of plentiful batteries.